2K TV, NBA and 2K legend Shaquille O'Neal. We recap the first My Team Unlimited game day. Hear from Pretty Loves Pink and your top plays. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. We are fortunate to have the legend and three-time NBA 2K cover athlete Shaquille O'Neal as a regular on 2K TV. We caught up with him while he was filming the 2K19 studio show. And as usual, there were some hijinks. Keel O'Neal, big guy right there. Ow! <laughs> Veteran guys, you gotta know how to pace yourself. And minute restrictions, you know, it, it really has become a bigger part of the game. I wanna flip this table over right now? I believe you could. But guess what, Kenny's got the 200 million! <laughs> you know his nickname, Ernie? What's that? 150. Oh. One F I, I thought it was going to be Shaq something. Oh, no, man. Ernie, I don't talk about myself like that. He doesn't. He never does that, Ernie. I don't what know what you're talking, talking about. about. All right, Shaq, so you just wrapped up your fifth season in NBA 2K. It's been that long? It has been that long, wow. at least as a broadcaster. That's awesome. I wanted to know if you could kind of walk us through the process of mocap. We haven't visited this in a few years. It's a very complicated process, but I'll try to break it down for the fans. Okay. You see all these little balls? Yeah. These balls reflect what's called the NIR, near infrared. So shoot okay. the infrared on these balls, shoots back to the computer, they can track us. If you go around, you see all these little tracking cameras. And that's the simplest way I, I could put it. I could put it in, in, in Harvard information form, but the, the normal brain wouldn't, wouldn't get it. <laughs> so can we also talk about the head cam that you have to wear? Because now I'm normally not sitting in this desk, but behind me we have these little tripods set up with your guys' helmets that you've had on for the past however many hours. The technology since we first started doing this has been much more advanced. My head won't do that, I can't. <laughs> the head cam gets all our facial expressions, uh, you know, gets everything, eyebrow movements, uh, sad faces, happy faces, and the NBA 2K crew and those guys and his staff and the technology department, they do an unbelievable job of always being ahead of the curve. Has it gotten any more comfortable? It's not about comfortability. It's about just, you know, coming out here and making a great game for kids, making a great game for the fans. There's nothing uncomfortable about having fun. And, you know, I'm, I'm definitely lucky. They could have picked a lot of people, so they chose me. And I'm having so much fun, I didn't realize that this was the fifth year until you said it. And last year was your legend year. Did you it get was? <laughs> no, but seriously, it was a blessing to be on the cover. Got great feedback and signed a lot of those copies. I actually bought a lot uh, for Christmas for underprivileged kids, but it's a great opportunity. All right, Shaq, thank you once again for being a part of the NBA 2K team and coming on 2K TV. KMC here with the Neighborhood Scout. With Halloween just around the corner, Swags is your spot for your awesome costume needs. Everyone get your crazy eyeglasses ASAP. While you're getting dressed up, last weekend these my players handled the Ruffles Ritz challenge like pros. And then these crews top the leaderboards and protect the house. Nice work, crews. Coming up this week, beats Saturday night with new NBA squads waiting for you in Court Conqueror on Sunday afternoon. Wednesday night, Dunk Fest takes over the neighborhood, rise above the rim and throw down to get the community over the threshold. And next weekend, we have Top Dog on Saturday. No squatting up allowed. You're on your own to dominate the competition. Then next Sunday, Ruffles Ridge Challenge is back for more four-on-four, four-point action. 2KMC done for a bit.
I'll be back later with your top plays. Have you been wearing your 2K TV gear? Well, we want to see it. So send us those pics and videos over social media using the hashtag 2KTVSwag, and you might just show up in a future episode. What's up, guys? It's Blake covering the NBA 2K League's first ever trade period. Following the expansion draft, the official trade window opened up on September 27th, and it began with a blockbuster. The T-Wolves sent O'Leary to Cavs Legion in exchange for Hood, who proved to be one of the top scorers in the league. Pacers Gaming nabbed an elite scorer of their own. They traded the fourth overall pick in the upcoming draft for Pistons GT's Let's Get It Ramo. And Wizards District Gaming looked to seal up the paint by acquiring Dayfry from Mavs Gaming, sending the 14th overall pick in return. During the trade window, teams were also given the option to retain two more players from their season one rosters, but only at the price of their upcoming draft picks. Knicks Gaming were willing to give up their second and third round picks by retaining Idris the Goat and Ye Not Gaming in hopes of keeping that championship nucleus alive. Last year's powerhouse Blazer 5 Gaming retained their 3 and D small forward Lavish Phenom after losing Dat Boy shots in the expansion draft. And championship runner-up Heat Check Gaming decided to hold on to their second leading score, 24K drop-off. With the dust settled, the NBA 2K League landscape has evolved. And we just can't wait for season two to begin. Here's Team Dimes and then Pretty Love's Pink coming in at the two. You guys may have seen our next guest in the recent NBA 2K League showcase game. So today joining us in the 2K TV lounge, we have Pretty Loves Pink. Hello. Thank you for coming on. How long have you been playing 2K? I've been playing it since 2K11. That's the first 2K that I bought on my own. I was in the military, and ever since then, I've been hooked. What is your specialty in NBA 2K? What's your favorite part of the game? My favorite part of the game right now is the part. You know, it keeps the fun going. It's always something new. It's never the same thing. It's not mundane. It's not boring. It's always some competition or some tryhards trying to pull up on you. Do you have friends that you play with online that you try to squad up with when you when you do go into the park? Yes, um, I have an organization that I created, which is basically full of a bunch of women gamers. It's called Ball Like Her. So whenever we want to play, we could just type in the group chat. Any females that are watching this right now that want to be a part of Ball Like Her, you can definitely hit me up on Twitter at Pretty Loves Pink, and we definitely have a place for you because I feel like we're better when we come together. Well, that's awesome. Talk about your my player. What what's he like? My favorite right now is the pure lockdown. Like, he is a beast. Like, he can do everything. He can shoot corner threes. He can play good defense. Like, you can't get past him. Have you kept up with um, NBA 2K League at all? I watched the expansion draft. You know, I see that the Lakers picked up Moody. I actually played with him on stream not too long ago. So congratulations to Moody. Um, and congratulations to all the expansion teams and the players that actually got drafted. And good luck to those that are going to be in the draft pool. Have you ever thought about maybe trying out yourself? I'm actually going to try out this year. Last year I didn't try out because of my nursing school. I'm actually going to graduate in a couple of weeks now. So I will be playing this year's combine. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you for joining us in person. And good luck with trying out for NBA 2K League next yes. season. And of course, keep going with Ball Like Her. That's super awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Last weekend was the first game day that you guys could qualify for the My Team Unlimited Tournament. And today we have our My Team panel with the results and breakdown. Guys, the first game day is in the books and we have our first qualifiers for the $250,000 and trip to All-Star Weekend. 
So Blake, what did you see out there on Saturday? Well, it was really competitive, fun to watch. Uh, we saw a lot of great cards out there, including Ambish, who we just had on recently, got his Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain. So he got to use that. Wilt is a definitely a really good card to use, but something to keep in mind when Ambish used Wilt right away, he had a couple of issues. He wasn't used to playing with Wilt and subbed in Tim Duncan pretty quickly. So it's about knowing your players too, not just having the best one. Yep, definitely. He was used to that Timmy. One of the other important things to remember is the heat check cards are out now. And with the heat check cards, you're gonna see a lot more people get more tokens from completing those collections. And those cards are gonna be viable in the qualifier. So if you have a lit up Anthony Davis card, it's gonna be worth more to you for your roster than the regular Anthony Davis. So. It's definitely gonna be a new dynamic to the game and to the qualifiers with those new cards. More people getting higher cards up the rewards tree and more people getting better players from the heat check packs. Did anything else take you guys by surprise? Yeah, well, a few streamers got hit by the 14 second shot clock. You know, once you get the offensive rebound, people weren't used to that, the new rule in the NBA, obviously. And so some people were coming back out, setting up their plays and clock winded down really quickly. Hey, every possession matters when you're playing for 250,000. So you gotta pay attention to the little rules, little things like that. That's why practicing during the week and unlimited makes a big difference. Yeah, I'm just really surprised about the cards that are out there being used. I wasn't expecting these guys to get rewards so quickly and get these diamonds. Yeah, every year we think that people are gonna just take longer and longer to get rewards, and somebody's already got the top reward, Galaxy Opal Wilt, so the one thing that you gotta remember, though, is just because you have that top tier reward doesn't mean that you're gonna earn the most score every time you play. Your lineup strength is a big deal when you're doing these matchups, when you're playing. You've got to use the cards that are the best for you and not necessarily the best rated card. So looking forward, what can my teamers take away from this first weekend? Well, one of the things is now in Unlimited, the tickets that you earn are double. Uh, took a look at the results and wanted to see more people able to qualify and get their entries into the tournament. So now, no matter what your record is in a game of Unlimited, you're going to get some tickets every time. So more people qualifying, more people getting ready for the event next weekend. Right on, that's a big deal. Yeah, I think another thing is just entries because you want to get as many as you can. I mean, you saw some guys get one entry, get an L, and that's it, you're done for the week. So you just want to get as many as you can, give yourself the highest chance of getting in. A quick thing too is if you get a 12 and 0 run in Unlimited, you get 40 tickets, that's two entries right away. So if you really, really ball out, you can go 12 and 0 and have two entries for the next tournament. Well, thanks you guys, and thank you guys at home for joining us, and good luck to everyone competing on Saturday. here with your 2K TV Wow Top Plays of the Week. Up first, it's Marcus in the neighborhood, faking out his defender and going up with the 360 Scorpion, getting saucy. Yep. Now let's hit triple threat with 4R, pulling off the 360 windmill lob. Oh yeah, for the win. <laughs> Just a filthy way to end the game. Back in the streets with Dawson, running the floor and, oh man, 360 double oop. That last one wasn't even a lob, he just handed it off in midair. Last, we head to the all-star game with Don J. Love. Seconds left, posting up, and cash money green. Cold-blooded with is my player. <laughs> Now vote for your favorite play, and don't forget to remember to submit your highlights to social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. This is the 2KMC, and I appreciate you, all of you. That's all we've got for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and be sure that you check back next week because we are hanging with Chris Stapps Porzingis. More and more people are enjoying seeing a big man be able to shoot 
threes and, and stretch the floor and do things that a, a guard can do. And we will see you then.